Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here, and I'm coming to you from a beach in Greece, and today I want to show you guys another 10 things you might be doing wrong in Premiere Pro. Let's go. First little tip for you, if you want to export a section from your video, instead of setting your in and out points in your sequence, just select the clips, press the backslash key, export, ready to go. Second tip, use the search bin. It comes really useful, right click, add a new search bin, and then there's loads of options of metadata you can choose. For example, you can choose all the clips that were filmed in 25 frames per second, and it puts them in one bin without moving them from the original location. Third tip, if you ever want to edit the audio and video separately to each other, select the clip, Command L or Control L, and that will unlink the clips ready to edit separately. Tip number four, did you guys know you can adjust the default duration of photos? When you put them in, normally the default is about five seconds, but if you go into your preferences, go to timeline, change the default duration, and bam. I like it at one second personally. There you go. Tip number five, if you've only got audio coming from your right or left channel, all you have to do is go to into effects and go and look for the effect called fill right with left or vice versa. And that should do the trick for you. Alrighty then, if you feel like you're learning something new, press that subscribe button. We've got tons of videos to help you master your editing skills. Also, this video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Get your first month for $9 with the link below. And I know, I know sponsors right well that's how we're able to bring all this free content to you guys and this one's really special to us and the team over the last six months i've been able to finish high quality projects and literally half the time with the help of the crazy good assets Envato offers over nine million in fact that go through rigorous testing before they become available on the site and while you're there check out the crt pack the olafemi team has put together so good okay let's have some more tips tip number six if premiere is running slow one of the things you can do is clear your cache files. Cache files are great when you're working on projects because it just loads the project files faster, but once you're done with the project, just clear them. Tip number seven, have you ever moved or resized a clip, video, text layer, graphic, and you want it to go back to its original form? Well, in that case, just use the reset arrows. They come in a clutch, especially when you need to do keyframes, and yeah, save yourself some time. Tip number eight, all the text graphics are up in the window. If you go up to window and then text, you'll find that you've got your transcription there and you've got all the graphic text for all the text through your video. So instead of going through your video and changing your titles and all that, you can change all your titles from one single place and change the font if you need to as well. Tip number nine, have you ever finished the video and the, the client comes back and says, can we change the music please? Whew. I know you've been there. Well, to make that transition a bit smoother, add a track, add another song in there. And especially when you've got dialogue and you've keyframed everything, just copy paste the parameters onto the new song. And hopefully that makes the transition a bit smoother, especially with Premiere's remix feature. And then you can just extend the clip as well. Tip number 10, check out this view. This is crazy, man. This is really cool. I'm on these rocks. Things we do for YouTube. Anyways. Tip number 10, if you guys edit social media content, vertical view in Premiere Pro is gonna help you guys heaps. If you go up to workspaces, choose your vertical view and you get a fuller screen of your vertical video to edit. Okay, two extra tips for you. If you ever find yourself that you opened up a project and all your files that you need are offline, just go into your project, select all the files, right click, link media, find where the files were originally and there you go. This tip I found on TikTok and I found pretty interesting when it comes to organizing your sequence and seeing the layout of your audio files. To section off all your different parts, just add a track, make sure you lock it, make it as thin as possible so you got those zebra lines and then you can separate your scratch audio from your dialogue to your sound effects to your music. Okay, see you guys, bye bye.